and welcome everybody to Topless Topics. Please note that if you are watching this video on YouTube, you are watching the extremely censored version because YouTube hates women, me especially. If you'd like to see the uncensored version of this video, please visit the URL at the bottom of this screen. You may also wish to follow me on social media so that I can alert you when a new video goes up or another one gets banned. Thank you. Okay, so your you, your Vimeo was banned around what year? Um, it was it was this year, I feel. Last year. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess yeah. I think it was early 2020. I actually did start a uh, when I when I lost my Vimeo channel, um, kind of very similar to the to what your you had found out. I was like, okay, there's got to be other places I can put my video because I like making video. Besides Pornhub, you can see it. So I was like, well, I didn't at the time. I didn't realize that you could put nudity on YouTube. So I was like, okay, I can't use Vimeo. I tried. Um, yeah, I know. Well, you'll you'll enjoy this. Um, I tried. There's uh, I don't even remember the name of it, but it's kind of a um, it's a distributed. It's it's very similar to kind of like Bitcoin or something like that, where it's a video service. Um, and you can upload your videos there and it gets replicated on a lot of different okay. servers. So you can't, once it's up there, it can't be taken down because it exists in many places. The problem is it doesn't start getting replicated until it gets viewed. Um, when you first upload it, it's on your computer. And as people start, you know, viewing it, oh, the more so popular... It's like the old what is it, Napster kind of thing? Um, it's kind of, well, I think you're, yeah, kind of like that or a... Um, now there's some other, I used to do a lot of this stuff and now okay. I, it, uh, but yeah, so if you don't get traction, it doesn't get replicated. And so, and there's, it's not like YouTube and Vimeo where you can use a couple hashtags and it's gonna get very yeah. popular. And then, you know, so again, it's, I did that for like a week or two and it's like, oh, that video got three views. Um, so again, like, what's the point? Um, I've looked at, um, you know, for my websites, I have web hosting, but they do not. The only video they, uh, if you want to put video on your website, you need to use Vimeo or YouTube. Mm -hmm. Those are your two choices. Not even YouTube for um, me. <laughs> yeah. So um, anyway, so I, I was trying to find a way to do this. And so then I found, I looked at YouTube's terms of service and I um, realized that they allowed artistic nudity. So I started putting my stuff there. Yeah. I started putting my stuff up there, and again, it was very similar to what I had on YouTube. It was more, more of my photography, some behind-the-scenes stuff, some of the rope stuff, um, and it was doing very well. I actually monetized that channel. Holy um, cow! <laughs> yeah. So now, like you said, you can't if there's anything that's age restricted or has nudity in it, it can't be monetized. Now, my entire but, um, channel, my entire channel is disabled from monetization. Oh wow! So when I started that channel, I um, I started uploading my videos, and they were doing fairly well. And you know, it's like um, they encourage you to monetize your channel, but you have to get like a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watched video. And so eventually, I got I hit those gates, and I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna just there's no way they'll ever approve it, but I'm just gonna try it anyway. So I did my submission to get it monetized, and they're like, you're approved. And I was like, wow, that's I'm shocked that. So I kept doing my thing, and what I would do is every, every once in a while I would make safe for work videos. You know, it would again, it would still be like boudoir, but you know, the woman was fully yeah. clothed, and um, it would be like a one minute video or something. But those I could monetize, and I would earn a little bit of money on them. And so the channel was doing great. I don't remember how many subscribers I got up to, but um, Jen, August thirty first, I got, I had, I had gotten like. One warning, I think, and I can't remember if I got a strike on that channel. I actually, it was a rope video, but um, the lady, she just kind of did one of these things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know, I think I we had a conversation on email. Um, if a woman touches her breast, yeah. that's a sexual act, apparently. Um, so she did that, and they took that video down, and I think I appealed it, but they rejected it. I can't, yeah. like I said. My, I feel um, like every time I, I appeal, it gets rejected two seconds later. I'm like, no human being looked at that. <laughs> <laughs> mine, 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 were, mine were fine, but so I either had one warning or one strike, but that's all I ever, that was as much I ever ran foul of YouTube. Um, August 31st, I got an email that says, we have deleted your channel um, for 
I can't remember, you know, for violating our community standards. And I was just like, I had one strike or one warning, yeah. at, you know, how, like, what did I do? Yeah. Um, so I appeal and I, and of course you get the, these days you get the, well, due to COVID it's taking yeah. us longer than we normally blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So that was August 31st. I've still not heard back. Yeah. About that, uh, but you about can't, that. you know, you got back on the horse. You started a new channel. Yeah, I just said, I said, uh, you know, I'm not going to do anything like that. It's it's way too risky. Um, oh, your boudoir type photo shoots or yeah, something. Yeah, you know. Um, so I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and and I wasn't. I never made a lot of money. It wasn't like a huge yeah. thing for me. It was just more. It was getting it out there. It was good for the models because I put their Instagram yeah. names and all that yeah. kind of stuff. But I was like, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to do that thing. Uh, this is going to be a, a entirely different message, um, and so that's where yeah. Normalizing Nudity was born, and, and it's very much uh, Focus. focused. And, yeah, well, I was going to throw two things out there. So, you know, talking about a strike or whatever. I don't know if people realize this, but one of the things that's terrifying about the whole, you know, three strikes and your whole channel gets deleted, or sometimes even sooner. It doesn't matter how old it is. You can have a video mm -hmm. up for five years and then it gets banned. Yeah. And if you just happen to have three videos banned in a row, you know, within the same six months, there goes your channel. And I'm yeah. sure you have, I mean, you've gone through this twice, both with your Vimeo and with your original YouTube. You put, you know, you get, you take it for granted almost. Like even with all the bands I've gotten, you know, you still kind of have this feeling of like, well, they wouldn't really, you know, they might, but they won't really delete my whole thing. And then when they do, it's like, ugh, like it's a, punch in yeah. the face no like, I, I i fully i mean i can't um i have this conversation with people a lot because a lot of folks you know especially these days with social media they they feel and i'm not i'm not negating anything that you've said or, or <laughs> feel but they they um they have this idea that well mark zuckerberg hates nipples <laughs> and therefore you know this is why facebook won't let me post a topless picture or something like that. And it's really, it's all about money. Yep. It's a, you know, they, he, he, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, yep. YouTube, name your platform, they are trying to make money. Yeah. That's all they really care about. And they can't put a, you know, Dawn dishwashing yep. liquid ad or Pampers or whatever, if they allow you to, and whether it's your topless topic or a sex worker or a guy that feels like he wants to put his dick on the internet, um, if they allow it, they run the risk of yep. not being able to sell ads anymore. Yep. And so it's really just a, it's a business yeah. um, and they're running yeah. a business and they have to, they have to try and Well, it's you know, like I said, it you know, I can't get non-sex toy brands to ever reply to my video, right. my emails. Like it doesn't matter that I have, a, you know, bajillion views and a bajillion subscribers. I don't even really count them either because they're all porn bots, but <laughs> it's yeah. like 0.1% are like decent people. But, um, you know, like, yeah, like they won't be associated that with that. Of course, one of the things I'm going to get into later, and I don't want to go super into it now, but <clears throat> all these years, I've just kind of been laughing at people that are like, you know, why aren't they banning Nazis? And I'm like, I don't know, but they've been banning my tits for, you know, a decade. Like, yeah. the priorities. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, you know, they won't let me monetize. And um, it's, it, yeah, exactly. Like, it's money. And uh, they, it's always one thing controlling the other one. But then it happens back, you know, catch 22. Advertisers don't want to be next to female nipples because they're considered sexual, but you can't desexualize them without, you know, videos like this representing mm -hmm. non-sexual nudity, but because they're not allowed, because advertisements won't put them so no one can find the video. Like, it's just, yeah. you know. <laughs> the, the, thing that, the thing that really frustrates me with that is the hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Because we do not, it, it's, 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 I'd say, extremely prevalent in the United mm -hmm. States. Um, you can't, you know, you can't get monetized for your stuff. Uh, I can't get monetized for my stuff. I have to worry about what I post on Facebook and Instagram about that getting taken down and my account getting deleted. Mm -hmm. However, you can't buy a hamburger mm -hmm. without having a girl in a bikini, yep. you know, eating it and juices dripping all over. I remember those her, commercials, you know, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we, we sexualize everything. So, and it's okay yeah, like all the time I see... You know, like music videos, like 
There's all, you know, all sorts of stuff. But the music <clears throat> videos, like WAP and stuff like that, I love it. Embrace your yeah. sexuality. But like you said, hypocrisy. Oh, she's got nipple tassels yeah. on, so it's okay that she's deep throating a banana and talking about wet ass pussy. <laughs> but this is sec yeah, this is yeah. porn. <laughs> Yeah. A little yeah. angry. If you're, you know, it's, it's like if we, we can use the, a, a woman's body to sell anything, but she can't mm -hmm. use her body, you know, and we are to do the same thing. slowly making tiny bits of progress there. Like it's kind of passe now to do it. I mean, like I'm a huge gamer, and there used to be a thing up until only a few years ago. Booth babes, where they would hire models oh, yeah. who often had no, who didn't play yeah. games or anything, to just like stand around and be sexy, which to me is such a bizarre yeah. idea. Like if I go to a gaming convention, it's to know about games. It's not to stare at women. Like, I, but I'm not a pre present you know, the stereotypical pre uh, yeah, you're not boy. A, you're not an adolescent <laughs> boy. Yeah, well, part of that is because you know I was raised nudist, so it's like to me nudity was never like yeah. oh. Um, yeah. But anyway, I, you know, it is getting more passe, like if that Carl's Jr. I remember where she has like the falls on her chest mm -hmm. or whatever, and that, if that were to happen now, it would be, you know, torn to shreds. Um, the Netflix show Emily in Paris, so it's kind of a, you know, silly whatever show, but I was watching it while I was like folding laundry, and there's a thing, so she works as like a marketing person or whatever, and she's an American, goes to France, and she's working for this very like stodgy, old-fashioned, you know, elitist one, and there's a really famous like guy that makes commercials or whatever, and he makes a commercial with this woman, it's supposed to be a perf yeah, perfume ad, and this woman's just walking mm -hmm. naked through the streets, and she gets into a spat with him where she's like, you're sexualizing her. And he's like, no, 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 she, she's, she's proud of herself because she has this perfume. It's like, I'm with her. <laughs> <laughs> That's, no. Like, it's, and it's kind of silly because it's like Victoria's Secret ads too or whatever. You know, like it's, it's like, where are, where are your expensive ass, you know, lingerie and your man will want you. Like it's, it's still mm -hmm. through the lens of men want you more and blah. Sorry, that was a that was kind of a tangent. Um, so let's see. Well, some of these are boring. Some of these are boring questions. So when you <laughs> you said that you kind of read on YouTube before you started, or you because you said that they said they allow nudity. Uh, I'll tell you that's a lie. Mm -hmm. Topless.topics.org/slash/band uh, has all my screenshots. <laughs> uh, I mean, Facebook's the same way. Like they say they allow breastfeeding photos. Nope, had those banned too. So. But yeah, so yeah. you, uh, you know, what, so what exactly did you feel is the main difference between your channel that got deleted and your new channel? And like, did you, do you have, do you know if you had any of the same people come to the new channel? Like, did any of them? Oh yeah, there's some of yeah. the, some of the same people are on there. Um, and the content is just wildly different, you know. Um, like I said, I do a lot of rope work and things like yeah. that. So I get people Fetishize. hanging in rope from my ceiling. And, yeah. and uh, so, yeah, there can be like either a, a fetish or a kink yeah. aspect to it. Or like if it's boudoir. So it's more um, meant to be. Whether like. <laughs> you consider it or not. Yeah, it, it's. Um, although I, I still don't. I don't think. Um, and I mean, I would get videos taken down there and then they'd peel and they'd be like, oh, okay, you're fine. Um, so what it wasn't. The, it wasn't. It, what uh, do I have to do to get that they weren't, answer? <laughs> they were, I, you know, I still, they weren't, they weren't, um, sexually gratifying. I think that's one. Oh, of the oh, but they were, cause they were, they were nude. Therefore that's all it takes to be, you know, sexually gratifying. Right. So, I mean, there, it, it's not, I mean, the, whether or not, like, there's probably d d between the two channels, um, this channel, you, might almost say there's more nudity in it mm -hmm. um, than the last one, but like me standing here now yeah. for no, obviously um, my videos aren't yeah. that long, but it is just a full frontal yeah. interview, so it is what it is. Uh, whereas the other ones, they Art, may be, they're more artistic, kind of. Um, yeah, exactly. You know, and, and but I did have to be. It was funny. Um, I actually even on this channel. I had a video deleted um, because I was doing the interview. This is my living room. I had the model. 
come out and um, she's like, oh, it's kind of cold. Do you mind if I keep my, sh she had like a button down shirt on. She's like, do you mind if I keep this on for the interview? And, I, and you know, it was open. So I was like, no, you're still naked. I mean, that's, you're yeah. fine. And so she did the whole interview with this like button down mm -hmm. shirt on. They deleted that. And I feel it was because she was like kind of undressed. She wasn't naked. She was. I think you're like, attributing too much weird. sense to it, honestly. I, I think. Well, I, I don't know, because every other video, they've, it, they've been totally naked, and they, I you know, actually, like I said, they take them all down anyway. I'm and, actually kind of worried that I'll up. accidentally drive some of my hate brigade towards you. I really <laughs> hope I don't. I, guess I don't we'll, know. Maybe because it's, we'll, you know, we'll you're a, a male and you're recording women, they won't hate you the way they hate me. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. It is, it really yeah, does, I know cool. I keep harping on this, but it really does just drive me crazy that I see so many other, like your channel, and like there's, you know, I'm not going to name them because I don't want to direct hate at them, but there's nudist natures that post to Instagram mm -hmm. with like that much censorship. They're fine. Yeah. Banned. Yeah. Why me? Yeah. <laughs> Why me? Yeah. Um, so you, uh, yeah, we kind of kind of went over there. So do you ever post about videos and stuff to social media? Like, do you ever say, hey, guys, I have a new video up on Facebook or whatever? No, not really on, um, not really. Uh, most of my, most of my, uh, I guess, traffic on YouTube is just organic. Yeah. And of course, you can see what people search yeah. for, you know, keywords, you know. Uh, but, uh, and then like I, I did say there, because some of the videos have been picked up on other yeah. channels that will drive traffic. But I don't, you know, of my, I think I have like 90,000 followers now, I'm sure. Yeah. At least How often do you upload? And so, uh, it varies. Sometimes it's once a week. Sometimes it may be every couple of weeks. It just depends yeah. on how many people I have worked with. And, yeah. Um, it's how many videos yeah, I have. They always say like, you know, if you can update the same time every day, it's best, but it's like, but if we're not, you know, if this isn't, we're not making enough money at it to make it worth it, you know, how are we supposed to make that much videos? Yeah. And my my dream is to have, yeah. you know, a bunch of videos saved up. But like I said, I have my kids. I'm always, you know, I have to make someone else watch them to work on the video. So it's yeah. hard to save them up ahead yeah. of time. And I know, and <laughs> I do get that, you know, people will call like, oh, you need to have more regular people on here. And they just, um, sometimes I explain it. And, you do but you do it gets all of kind it? Of tiring. I don't explain it all the time, but well, I don't. I like I said, I tend to to uh, do my interviews with people that I'm already working with, so they're coming over yeah. to shoot, and it's like, hey, would you be interested in doing this? You know, and I, I get plenty of people that are like, yeah. no, nah, that's not my thing, or or they don't want to be on YouTube yeah. naked, and it, that could either be because of again exposure, yeah. personal reasons, or it's just because they're like, no, I. Get, you know, like I don't. I mean, it could be like, no, people see me naked when they pay on my own yeah. hands. I don't want to put yeah. it, you know, out, out on YouTube for free. So, but I don't, I don't, I don't ask them like a million, you know, if they were like, yeah. nah, you're not, not a freak about thing. it. Yeah. Like, cool. Oh, that was one thing. You know, but yeah, so ahead. for me to, for me to um, have somebody come over just to do mm -hmm. the interview, um, that means I'm not shooting which actually makes yeah. me money um so it's i i have done it but i don't do it a lot just because yeah plus you've managed to be in your room this, this long stuff. without a child bursting in to interrupt so a little jealous <laughs> um, you made me think of something i was going to throw in earlier because you know you're talking about your photography and we we're saying how people are like oh you must want to have sex with them yeah um as i mentioned i i did a couple of photo shoots to make money to pay for things and I still don't really know how to find a good photographer. Um, the very first one, I wasn't uh, restrictive enough when I kind of asked questions. And he said that he had done, you know, new photos or whatever. And I looked at it and his profile, you know, his model mayhem or whatever it was. And we go out there and I don't have any, I don't have anyone that I know well. Cause you know, we moved up here four years ago and I haven't really had a chance to make friends cause of kids, blah, blah. So I went out there by myself with him to the clothing optional beach. Cause that was the only place that I, you know, could think of to take pictures. And he kept saying like, you know, Oh, here's the money shot. And like all this creepy stuff. And I was just like, 
is it always going to be mm -hmm. like this? And that was when I found out the, the, the meme name or whatever, Guy with Camera, which, you know, you're familiar, where it's basically oh, yeah. just a guy with the camera being like, I'm a photographer. And I'm a photographer, yeah. take off your clothes. And the flip side <laughs> of that is that because I'm taking these photos with the intent of selling them, again, to pay for stuff like Vimeo, because I can't pay the bills with idealism, um, I can't seem to find a boudoir or like anyone who actually has experience with tasteful nude photos that will give me permission to sell them. I've, I've approached like 10 mm -hmm. and every single one of them is like, no, they're only for private use. You can't sell them. And I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> I would, uh, for those, I don't know, um, I don't remember Portland. exactly where you are, but I would look at Facebook groups that are, that are specific to okay. photography. I was in a huge, I used to live in the Pacific Northwest. That's where I am. And, uh, I was in a group. It was mm -hmm. in Seattle and there were about 7,000 people in that group and photographers, models, makeup it's artists. It's kind of ironic. Things. So you will yeah. get, you'll get all sorts of different yeah. levels of people. Yeah. Um, and th th there are going to be some, you know, guys with cameras. Most of the better groups will, we don't it, the group I was in was very good about policing and, you know, I'll have to ask um, you for the name of that. Making sure that that I'm in happen. Portland. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, you, you will be able to, if you approach a, a boudoir photographer yeah. and ask them about that, they're going to be like, no, well, one, they're going to, one, they're, you're going to have to oh, pay them, but then it's going to but be, but even then I'm like, I will pay. It's going to be yeah. private use. Yeah. Um, cause they're like, well, if you're going to make money off this, then I'm going to give you a commercial yeah. contract and it's going to cost you, you know, $600 yeah. per photo, um, or something ridiculous like that. But there are plenty of people, um, out there. It, you have to, you do have to find the yeah. right ones. Cause they're, I mean, trust me, I work with a lot of people that do only pants yeah. and things like that. Um, and, but because I also make money off the photos, it works, yeah. it works fine to do a trade, yeah. but if you go to a, you know, any kind of a commercial photographer, then gonna, yeah. and I mean, expect to it's, paid it's hard to, cause I'm a little paranoid, like, because, sorry, my husband's very loud. Um, because <laughs> it's for normalizing nudity and it's not for porn, I'm hesitant about like the photographer putting it on a porn site. And I know that you can put it in the contract that they won't do that. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just nerve wracking because it's my yeah. body, you know? And while I know yeah. I already do get retweeted on, on, you know, porn accounts and stuff, it's, it's different if someone is like, has the legal right to sell me on there. Um, yeah. So that was really unfortunate. Um, so you, uh, what time is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> we usually put the kids to bed at eight, but whatever. <laughs> I told them it would take a while probably because I it's always hard to set up the cameras and the sound and everything. Um, oh, I was gonna say it's ironic yeah. that you're saying you know you're recommending me find a photographer on Facebook to take you know tasteful nude photos with, whereas I can't. I get banned on Facebook anyway just for um, everything. Everything yeah. is terrible.